Look at there, look at there. I'm talking about. We can move them around now. Back over here. All right, action. Hey, pull. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> hey, nice haircut, by the way. Hey, thanks, buddy. All right, so it's the week, Jesse. You got it. <laughs> Needs a little more, a uh, little more weight, a little more rear end. <laughs> there it is, the hot rod and the Volusia mud. I don't know. Is that is that kind of like a gumbo type? It's yeah. dark. Yeah, it's dark. It was all over my boots and yeah. my shoes, yeah, and I clapped them together. Well, I clapped mine together one time, and it just went everywhere. Anyway, there's the hot rod back from Volusia. Careful. Goal today is to get it unloaded, get it over there, get it washed, and start getting all this mess cleaned up. We got to get back to work. We got to get that thing going. That's gonna be our 602 car. We got to get that car over here cleaned up. Get where we can work on it. And one day soon, we'll have another car coming and uh, have our super late model engine back. So we had an issue with this car always bouncing over. It, it did oh, did it bounce again? Oh yeah, it's off the wall again. So this strap isn't helping. I mean, it helps a little. A little. All right. So that's that's what that strap was for before anybody asked. The little strap was there to help us keep the car from bouncing over. I have to put a can. I need one of those things to wear a camera on my head. I can work with two hands. There's our new uh, pit skylights. Did a fine job. No, they did a fine job. And trusty old lift from dirtcarlift.com. So Joseph won a race at Volusia the other night. Oh man, I can't jump y'all's butt. <laughs> on our racing, of yeah. course. We also talked about on our podcast this week how Volusia, the real track, is like Volusia, the iRacing track. Very similar. Yeah. I mean, Joseph needed another night to win. Mm -hmm. One more night would have done it. All right, move it. There you got to get I think on there. Outrun some of the best on our racing. When I if got by home. best you mean Jesse? Uh, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> go that far. Go on good ways with it. Oh yeah, we in business now. Yeah, uh, it'll come back this way when you let it down some. Plenty of room on my side. Got a mile on my side. We ain't got no power. I got my lights on in here. We ain't got no starter. What? <sighs> we didn't get a new starter. <sighs> Imagine that. Starter issues. Never had any of those. No. <laughs> Still our same old starters. Hadn't got any new ones yet. Never did. Still wearing my lights. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. Try again. I'm the oh, let me hit. Oh. All, right. All right, we still have starter issues. Uh, it's just one of our old ones that we bolted on. It got us through the weekend, though. Uh -huh. Push, Jesse, push. <laughs> been doing this way too much lately. At least it didn't leave us stranded oh, at the oh, track. That's good. Hold on. I got that dusty. All right. Four wheeler. Shout out to our buddy Bo for letting us use his four wheeler for the weekend. Ours had some issues. It came uh, right as we were getting loaded up, brought it to us so we wouldn't be without. Bo's four wheeler isn't four wheel drive. Fits well in the trailer though.
might be a good time to explain that we are going to get rid of these trees, move our gate over, widen it. We're going to have a gate all the way from where it starts now to way over here. Big old long one. We can get that truck in and out uh, without much issues. It's, just, it's a work in progress, y'all. good news is we didn't hurt our tires and these will make good tires for jesse possibly me possibly, possibly. check our right sides right there, right? Yeah. i don't think me or jesse will be running that Drink all weekend out there yeah my track might get black anyway that's probably how we'll do it a lot of times me and jesse get the, the pull-offs from joseph but we got two good sets or at least fronts and left rear from uh the two nights are racing at Volusia. You ain't complaining, are you, Jesse? No, heck no. They look good to me. All right, so before it gets dark on us, we'll get washing the car in a second. I wanted to show y'all the truck. We had it washed. A buddy of ours, Matt Barnett, local guy here, did a fine job washing it for us before we left for Volusia. And uh, I didn't have a time to show it off to y'all. Didn't have time to show it off to y'all because we were in a hurry to get out. But there it is. The new truck did a fine job other than a couple blowouts um and we washed it and it's looking good but of course you know got dirty again already we did a little polishing on the on the wheels we're gonna work on those touch those up a little bit more but i think um all things considered she turned out turned out nice but now she's dirty again and like i was saying we will be doing some more improvements here um getting it in and out our driveway obviously and then also cover here for the uh for the truck Jesse rode his motorcycle today. It's sunny and 68 in Florida. Or into Florida. I didn't get to stay in the truck. Shadow and I, we had so much help, which is a good thing. We had so much help that uh, some of us had to stay in a hotel room. But uh, everything went fine with the truck. We had the issues with the blowouts on the way down there. A six and a half hour trip turned into almost 14 hours. We talked about it in the podcast quite a bit. Uh, Jesse and Joseph detailed the whole trip and how that all transpired but other than that uh, first trip on the truck everything went fine and it's a joy to have at the track this big. <laughs> well it's big <laughs> it's a big garbage bag for that big trash can it also smells good yeah, did you notice yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you couldn't tell if it was that or your hair <laughs> yeah. you cover, <laughs> cover a whole engine with that thing hey how did our truck do driving wise I told him you know mm. there's no doubt that for you know inexperienced drivers an automatic would have been better <laughs> but i didn't get to drive so. i think he's talking about troy <laughs> well, I mean, when you do get to drive you know you'll be, you'll be the same you'll be grinding gears uh -huh. we'll, we'll but, never know. but i mean it troll truck man that thing's solid yeah so if we'd have put new tires on it yep we'd have, oh, we'd have been flawed we'd have had yeah. zero issues but we didn't you got everything covered up yeah well, here wash it <laughs> it's your car well, you I got it you were, dirty i thought you was getting after it <laughs> i was going to go grab me a blue drink <laughs> <laughs>
also like to point out that Joseph's been on the phone for like the entire time we've been watching the race car. And he don't tell me to get anything. <laughs> Somebody's got to keep this uh, operation afloat. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> This is how important it is to uh, wash your tires. We got a tire here that we aren't really gonna do anything with on the wheel. We got a tire that is a good tire that we'll be running again off the wheel. So we're gonna put it on this wheel and then wash it. We'll need to wash it too, so it all works out. All right, there y'all go. Nine clean tires. I cleaned up good. It didn't hurt them at all. Mm. Good to go. I like it when a track doesn't hurt tires. All right, we got we got a surprise before we put the car in. Our buddy Corey's got us hooked up with here. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, oh, did you paint them and everything? Ooh. Man. Ain't nothing short about him. <laughs> <laughs> The back bumper or what? Back, back, back bumper. Back bumper. <laughs> That's the front. There you go. Right. Go ahead and go right up under the car with him. Yep. Yep. Look at that. Nice. That's a chassis dolly. Now we can move the cars around, push them around where we want them. Jesse's got his installed on the back. We can go up, we can go up just a hair. Up a little bit. All right. A little bit. We off of it. We are on the stands. What do you think? She ain't gonna roll away, is she? I might. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy duty casters. We can get it in there in the light where we can see it. Yeah, yeah we're gonna have to drag it out from under there. You ready to roll it? Yeah, easy does it. Yeah, a little nervous. Get back there. Good on my side. Push it up, hold on, we gotta go that way. Come on, we're good. I like it. Oh, watch this one. Look at there, look at there. I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, it rolls easy on flat concrete, doesn't it? That's what I'm talking about right there. We can move them around now. Look at there. Huh? Boys, we are in business. Hot. Let's put this other one on. Yeah, we can move them around. You, uh, you gonna build these? Like if somebody wanted a, a set, they'd get with you? Somebody wants a set. All right, we'll put the information uh, in the link where y'all can, in the description where y'all can get with Corey if you need a set of chassis dollies. Yeah, that's cool. Just like that right yep. there in it or something. So notch it here to where this would, yeah. these would fit in there mm -hmm. and it would be, it'd be locked in there then. Mm -hmm. yep. I like that idea. Yep, me too. Yep. That is freaking trick, man. Yeah, we in business now. Woo! Makes it a lot easier to operate in a, in a small shop when you can push your cars out around where you need them. <laughs> I'm excited. And this is how this one, that's just on the, the frame rails here. And we got cups for them to set in 
on both sides. Neat stuff. Right, let's slide it over like with the devil Joseph. There you go. Yeah, that worked. All right, now we can pick up the front and put it on. Yeah. Watch it over there. See that brace right there? An inside brace? Yeah. Um, I'm not really touching it over here. Okay. It's, going, it's because it doesn't have a motor in it. It's going to teeter tot. Right yeah, the balance. weight. Yep. Well, I mean, it's, not there. it's on there anyway. It's just bouncing back and forth because it doesn't have any front weight on it. All right. All right, is there a motor in it? Yeah, exactly. Motor, exactly. Yeah. The motor weighs about four times what you do. Oh, sure. Jesse went to put it tight. Look, he's rolling away from him. <laughs> All right, when we went. Put it in the wall. He's going to hit the wall. <laughs> yeah, slab might be a little bit. Yeah, yeah. we need to get us some chalks and brakes to put on them. They said put a spring rubber around them wheels and it don't let it roll. Oh, okay. Now we know. Now we know. Y'all want to switch uh, switches, switch places with them so this one will be ready to roll out to, to wash? Sure. Yeah, oh, I just, yeah, I just want to push them around a little bit, try them out. I don't think you could have them in here side by side and have enough room to work. I don't think it would no. work like that. But you can definitely make room, like if you're working on one, push the other one out of the way. Or the two. Yeah, or however you want to do it. Yeah. You got options now. Oh, ain't that sweet. All right, see ya. Bye. I want to see if we can push these by ourselves. Rearrange them a little bit. Hey, Jesse, All right, y'all, there we go. We got them in here, got them where I wanted them, and I did it all by myself. That's what I wanted to see, if I could push them around and move them around by myself without any help. One person can do it. Um, these, these dollies, you kinda gotta learn how to do them and how to know which direction they're going, but I feel like the more we push them around, the easier it'll get. But uh, thank you to Corey for getting us hooked up with those. We've been wanting a set of chassis dollies, and now we got three sets here. Uh, that we can use well like i said we'll leave the information where you can get in contact with corey if you're interested in getting your own set of chassis dollies and uh hopefully we'll have us a third car in here we're going to add on to the building we're going to put doors in here um, but for now um, with the limited space we have the chassis dollies make it easier to utilize um, the space and to be able to work on the cars so anyway y'all like subscribe comment and tell us what you think of the new chassis dollies and we'll see you next time